to check this out. It's Trevor James. I'm in Wuhan, China, and we're going food ranging. We're going for a full-on Chinese street food tour of the city. I'm so pumped. Let's go check it out. Wuhan is China's central street noodle heaven. Smack in between Sichuan and Shanghai, you'll find a mixture of Hunan, Sichuan, and Shanghai food. I came here to broaden my noodle horizons and ended up taking a nine hour train from Chengdu just to try the world famous hot dry noodles. Getting deep into the street food scene is always one of the joys of traveling. And here in Wuhan, I found a lot of exciting snacks. Let's eat. Oh, this is, this is nuts. So we've got some classic Rugan Mian we're gonna try here in Wuhan. Nick Beautiful. Just a couple, just to give it a little kick, you know. So we're gonna see what the lineup is about here. Oh, look at these Rogan noodles. There's pickled radish. Looks like there's some cow peas, sliced chives. Oh, fresh chili peppers. Oh, and the bottom. That's what it's all about. You gotta mix it up. There's that thick, thick sesame paste. Oh, I can smell that. It's nutty. Oh, look at that steamy, steamy bowl of noodles. Look at how thick that is. Look at how thick that is. Oh. Oh. Let's try that out. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> that is. Oh, it's got a spicy kick to it. And there's that thick sesame paste. It's like a mixture between sesame and spicy. Quite nutty. Oh, and the noodles are actually very nicely done. Slightly chewy. I do gotta say though, I wish that the sesame paste was a little thicker and a bit of a, a bit of a stronger nutty flavor. Otherwise, these are very delicious. And next door at the same spot, there was an even busier joint serving their unique take on Shao Mai dumplings, stuffed with sticky rice and mushrooms, and then dropped into a hand-rolled deep-fried dough strip giving you an amazing texture and flavor combo. This is what dreams are made of right here. It's like a crispy deep fried dough pocket stuffed with Shao mai, sticky rice, mushroom, and pork shao mai. Oh, I just gotta get right in there. Oh, look at that. That looks insane. It's soft and plump and stuffed full. Mm. Whoa. That is spectacular. It tastes like a... It tastes like a peppery gravy ball. Oh, those are really good. It tastes like gravy, peppery gravy with these, these really soft, soft shao mai. Oh, that is really good. That is what's unique here. This is incredibly delicious. This is so delicious. It's like a peppery gravy deep fried dough ball with these really soft, soft mushroom like shao mai. It's like a mushroom gravy in there. And after a little walk, I found another place down the street serving a unique version of a popular breakfast snack. There was a huge lineup, so I couldn't resist giving it a try. So friendly. Oh, this is sticky rice with mushroom. Look at this. 
This is probably gonna be some real unique flavor. Oh, it's so hot. Gotta be careful, don't burn your mouth, but I'm just gonna go right in. Mmm! Oh, look at that. That is fantastic. That is beyond delicious here. They've got, a, they've got this mushroom flavor and sticky rice, and I can taste like this slight essence of cinnamon in there. I just came for one and I got four, all for free. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Xie Xin Yiman, Tai Hao La, Xie Xin Jian. This is great. And then I went just down the street to try another street food specialty, the chicken comb deep fried pork pocket. Homemade dough is stuffed with pork and onions and then boiled in a dark, dark oil right on the street. It was making me a little hesitant at first, but this was in my street food research, so I had to give it a go. Now, we can eat your eager digon jama. We're gonna try it out right here. Look at this. This is like a deep fried oil, oily bread batter, wheat batter. What's <laughs> Mmm. Oh, it has that jiu tai. Give me your jiu tai, ma. Jiu tai. It has that jiu tai flavor in it, which is like a strong Chinese chive almost. Very strong. Green onion flavor with pork in there. It's a little too oily for my pleasure, but I can see the locals love it. You see this filling here? It's only on the very edge, and the rest is just like deep fried batter, so deep fried wheat. So I'm probably not gonna finish that. I feel bad, but I don't wanna eat pure oil. And for a mid afternoon snack, I made my way to try unique baked flatbread called the Strange Flavor Flatbread. Loaded with a secret spice mix, chili sauce, and sugar. It was the perfect mix of flavor. It's places like these that bring you satisfaction for traveling somewhere just for the food, knowing that you're chowing down on a local recipe that only locals know about and line up for. Oh, and he chops it up. Flatbread doused in chili paste. That's more of a chili paste than a chili oil and sugar with onions, sesame, and salt. We're just gonna go right in for that. Oh! Man, Wow! That is magnificent. Oh, that chili oil, that chili spice. I definitely taste a little fennel in there. It's like a spicy, Fennelly, sweet, crispy bing with a hint of onions. All that granular sugar on there really gives it a nice texture with that chili paste, which is also quite granular. So you've got the chili paste, the sugar, and there's fennel in there. So it really adds a nice granular crunch to each bite. And for my pre-dinner meal, I found a local classic street food that you can find all over China a huge cauldron of niu zha, a bowl of mixed beef organs and parts, served in a spicy broth with radish, tofu, and vegetables. This is your niu zha. Do you have niu zha? Can you eat it? Oh, look at this. It's a big one. It's a lot of meat and a lot of meat. Is it like this? This is what kind of meat is? This radish. Oh, that smells really good. Oh, yeah. This is organs, innards, pleasure right here. Doyo, <laughs> hendo Oh, 
这个是我好的吗？哦，太好了，哇，那么大，哈哈哈哈哈 ，huge， 太好了，你看，外国朋友也爱吃四星牛杂。牛仔，牛仔，四星牛仔，牛仔，这个有很多牛仔嘛？这是牛仔，牛仔，哎，就是牛肚，牛肚，还有牛肠，牛肠，萝卜，牛百叶，哦，还有牛肉，牛肉，哦，还有还有豆腐，对，下边是青菜，青菜，哦，青菜，青菜和肉在一起的味道要。然后这个汤，这个汤是什么味道？它这是熬的一些老汤，老汤，把老汤熬出来。骨头，牛骨。哎，有里边有放的放的有鸡骨头，还有牛骨。牛骨。哎，哦，牛骨。哦，谢谢你。我尝一下。This is beautiful. It's like a big pot of intestines and beef organs and sliced tender beef. There's rice noodles in there. Oh, oh, there's like stomach. In a, in a light broth. That smells fantastic. Let's just try a little beef out here. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh, it's quite spicy. Oh, it's very spicy. It's a sharp spice. It's a very sharp spice. It's a deep beef broth as well. Oh, with like these nice chewy. Anyhow. See how? <laughs> With nice chewy organs. Let's try that out. It's quite spicy. Very, it's a sharp spice. Oh, okay. And you can really feel that it's made with love right on the street here. And for my final meal of the night, I made my way to a classic Wuhan style restaurant packed with locals all dining on delicacies that you'll miss after you leave. This is what travel is all about. It's packed. Oh, oh, Thai hala. I ordered a bunch. Some dried and salted little river fish covered in bean paste, a steamer of fatty pork covered in rice flour, a taro salad with huge garlic cloves and ginger slices, a hearty and thick bowl of pork rib and white radish soup, and the most noticeable of all was the extremely spicy bubbling frog pot. Check this out. This is the bubbling frog pot. Look at that. It's bubbling. Oh, look at all those dried chilies in there. Garlic, green peppers, and that frog. Just look at that frog meat. Oh, that looks tender. I really just have to try that flavor out. Mm. Oh. That is very spicy. It's like, it tastes exactly like if you boiled a bunch of dried chilies with garlic and a soft, soft, tender frog meat. The frog meat just takes on the full flavor of those chilies. Super tender. That is burning. This is Fen Zheng Rou, except this is Hubei style. This looks more fatty. There's these green peas on top. And it's also covered in that rice meal, that rice flour. Oh, look at that. Steamy, steamy fenjang roll. Mm. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's very, very soft, a little sweet. The pork, the pork essence is just magical in there. It's really fatty and juicy, a little salty. And it has a really nice, really smooth essence. You can taste the, the peas steamed throughout there. There's a nice little hint of pea flavor in there. I made a huge mistake near the end of the meal. I love the frog pot so much that I took some of the soup and I put it on my rice. For a spice lover, I thought that this would be heaven. But I discovered that this blew Sichuan spice out of the water and I had to pace around and cool down while Ting Ting filmed and laughed. That is hot. Thank you.
。好，谢谢你。没关系。好，拜拜。好，拜拜。Thank you so much for watching my food and travel videos. Please leave me a thumbs up and click that like button down below. Follow my Instagram too because I'm putting all of my photos from these experiences right on my Instagram account, The Food Ranger. Check it out. I'm gonna keep going. I gotta catch my flight early in the morning, so I'm gonna head back to the hotel now. I just want to say thank you to each and every single one of you because my channel has been growing so fast, and I'm just so excited about this. I'm starting culinary school next week, and I'm gonna be trying to get as much footage of that as possible for you guys. I want to share with my, share with you guys my experience of how it all goes, and share some recipes as well. Thanks, guys.